so now in this video we have a 555 timer that uh, I wired up it's uh, basically an inverter but it's got hysteresis so it's a Schmidt trigger inverter and we will look at that so right now the output is low just because that's the way I wired it up the uh, blue LED is uh, lit up and uh, below it it's more positive above it's more negative right now so the longer lead is down lower the uh, shorter lead the cathode is up higher if you put it in backwards it won't light up so we know the outputs low that means to uh, set it high I have to lower the voltage of the trim pot right there now we're going right back to the spot basically that it was before when it was low you can see that uh, nothing changed it's still high so this is the hysteresis right in that middle range to uh, set the output low I have to go uh, pretty positive right there so a higher voltage high enough voltage above two-thirds of the supply voltage there that will set the output low now I have to drop below one-third of the supply voltage that sets the output high so we have a predictable hysteresis range here between uh, one-third and two-thirds it will stay in whatever state that it is in you have to go above two-thirds to set the output low you have to go below two-thirds of the supply voltage to set the output high and to make that easy I used uh, six volts as you can see there as the supply voltage so if we were measuring the voltage of the trim pot we should have saw that about four volts going above that set the output low and then uh, when it came to uh, two volts we had to go down below uh, about two volts you know at least touch two volts to set the output high as I said before which is two-thirds supply voltage up there one-third uh, down there and uh, so you can use a lower value trim pot doesn't matter the positioning will be the same but there'll be a lot more waste current the inputs don't let current in or out so you can go pretty high on uh, the resistance there and, and that's really about it we don't want to uh, let the output be forced to low which pin 4 will do if it gets a low signal to it uh, so putting that directly to the positive supply disables 4 it won't do anything now when the output is high uh, the red LED will light up right there that's about 4.5 volts you lose some of the uh, positive uh, voltage when the output is low however then uh, the blue LED will light up right there it does get a pretty good connection to ground right there so we're going to use a 1000 ohm resistor to uh, lower the uh, current both because blue LED is naturally brighter plus it's got a little more voltage it can work with so a uh, lower value resistor here so more current goes through the red LED thanks to its uh, reduced uh, voltage as well but also because it doesn't get as bright as the blue LED so that's going to let a lot more uh, current go through but then the LEDs get about the same brightness as you can see there so yeah we'll uh, come in take a closer look at the circuit so I mentioned uh, you know long lead is down there short lead is up there red is the opposite so we have this is a power supply pin right there to pin one the other power supply pin is to pin eight the uh, positive supply so um, the resistor is going up above that negative supply going to the long lead the anode short lead the cathode is going to that jumper so right now the output's high it's connected to the positive supply as good as it can get going through there and uh, we'll set the trim pot to a high enough voltage where the output is low so now we're basically connected to ground at that output so current is going that way uh, right there to uh, ground and it makes a pretty good connection right there um, so hopefully uh, that all makes sense as I said before we want to disable pin 4 so you just put it directly to the positive supply you could use a resistor as well um, doesn't matter just so long as you make sure the voltage doesn't uh, drift down closer to uh, 0 volts I think it's below like halfway we have uh, also pin 6 and pin 2 tied together they're just inputs looking at the voltage across them that little jumper is uh, connected so yeah they're just looking at the voltage no currents going in or out um, so they're not affecting the voltage of the trim pot at all that's something important to be aware of so I think I covered everything there so hope you enjoyed make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below they all help out a lot I'll see you in the next video